It's the time of year when people flock to haunted houses and take ghost tours. And if you're in for a real treat now, if you can visit more than a dozen haunted locations right here in New Mexico, all documented in a new book. News 13's Rebecca Atkins is live at the Painted Lady Bed and Brew. This is in the Sawmill, dist Sawmill District with that story. Rebecca. Well, Dean, the Painted Lady is one of only two haunted Albuquerque locations listed in the new book, and we got a chance to take a tour with the owner, see what it's all about. Ever since I was like a little kid, I just always wanted like a haunted house. A big fan of the supernatural, Jesse Heron had no idea the building he'd purchased was haunted. Some of the people that stay here have mentioned things like, you know, they'll look at me and I'll be like, you know, yes, it is haunted. Now, the painted lady bed and brew in the Sawmill District. It was originally the Swastika Saloon built in the 1880s and at one point served as a brothel. And the sawmill was right across the street and he had the window so they could be, I imagine them being, you know, on the sidewalk outside, like trying to lure guys in there. Full of New Mexico history. It's one of 14 haunted locations in the new book, Haunted Hotels and Ghostly Getaways of New Mexico. They keep history alive by keeping these hotels open. Donna Blake Birchall of Carlsbad is the author. She included another Albuquerque location, the Red Horse Vineyard in the South Valley, among others, famous locations like the the St. James Hotel in Cimarron and the La Fonda Hotel and La Posada, both in Santa Fe. If they're in this room, they feel the presence of someone sitting on the bed. Birchall says the idea for the book came to her after a ghostly encounter at the Plaza Hotel in Las Vegas. There was a huge pressure on the back, on my small of my back, and I was by myself. Um, and I couldn't turn over. She says she hopes the book brings visitors to the locations and also brings their history alive. Stay at these properties or at least visit them and, and you know support them because they're they're wonderful people. Now Heron has fully embraced the people he says haunts his property. He even offers a package called Booze and Brews, including a ghost tour, an EMF reader to detect ghosts, and even a signed copy of the Haunted Hotels and Ghostly Getaways book. Dean, back to you. All right, Rebecca, thank you. Now, if you're interested in a copy of that book, we have a link. Just go to our website. That, of course, is krqe.com.